Hello and welcome to day 28 of IT Tips. Today we're going to continue looking at editing photos. So I've got my sun sunrise photos and I'm going to open the one that we started on yesterday, the one that we cropped. So I'm opening it in Photos which is free software that comes with Windows 10. I'm going to click on Edit and Create and Edit. And today we're going to look at how to adjust your photo. So you'll see that my photo is quite dark. It's not as red at the moment as, as the real life picture was. So I'm going to look at some adjustments to the light and the colour. In the adjustments menu, I'm going to click on light and that will open four different adjustments. Contrast, exposure, highlights and shadows. Everything at the moment is set at zero so that I can show you what each one does. I'm going to start with exposure. So exposure is about how much light is let into the photo when you take it. So I'm going to increase the amount of light and you'll see that my sunrise actually disappears. But you can see the house really nicely. And if I go to the opposite extreme, I lose nearly all the light and it goes quite dark. Now I actually, because it's a sunrise, want to reduce the light a little bit. So I'm going to stop at around minus 10. Like that. Contrast. If I go completely in one direction, you'll see that the clouds become a little bit clearer. If I go completely the other direction, yeah, it doesn't look so good, does it? So I'm going to increase the contrast on this one to about 20. Like that. Highlights and shadows, I use these a lot. Take all the way to the right on highlights. Again, we lose some of that sun, sunrise colour. But if I go the other way, often with skies, it's good to take out some of the highlights and make it, it, the sky look a, a little bit more moody. So I'm going to go down to about minus 50. It doesn't have to be exact. And with shadows, if I go all the way one way, you can see that the house becomes more defined. Or I could go all the way the other way and the house could be almost invisible, just a shadow. Now, normally I would increase the amount of shadows to get a clearer picture but it's a sunrise I don't want people to focus on the house I want people to focus on the sunrise so I'm actually going to take out some of the shadows as well maybe down to about minus 35 and then I'm going to close the light section color I'm going to start with I'm actually going to start with warmth because it's a sunrise I want it to look warm so if, again if I go all one way and increase the warmth it looks like the middle of summer which is a lie or I can go the other way and it looks quite chilly might just increase it a fraction. Let's go to about 15. And tint, if I go all one way, oh, that looks quite nice. Or all the other way, it takes out some of the colour. So let's go again a little bit this way. And then I'm going to close the colour section. Clarity is what it says. It's how clear the things in the picture are. So if I go all one way, you can see the, the clarity of the clouds. If I go the other way, it looks quite almost like a painting. So I'm just going to actually, I'm going to take out a small amount of it. And all of this is just personal choice. Now this time I am going to save a copy because I want to be able to see the difference between the original and what I've got here. So you can see when I've saved a copy, the file name has a number two in brackets next to it. So I'm looking at, a, at file 3269. That's, that's the original. And that's my edited version. Tomorrow we'll look at some more photo editing tips, um, but for today, see you later.